How's it going, ladies and bros? This is Bobby Six Kilo. Welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. It is time. Well, we're at the club here, but as I think I said last time, I don't want to run the club again today. Um, we do have one more league to get through, but we'll do that a little bit later, maybe. But uh, we do have a side mission to deal with here, so we're gonna do that, and we'll do some side missions, maybe some main story. We'll come back to the club a little bit later. Kitty Sun, you busy right now? Why? What's up? I know this is vague, but I'd like you to come with me somewhere. Uh. I can talk now. You know how I told you about one of my old co-workers who got a job nearby? Yeah? Something about how she wasn't getting along too well, right? Yeah? I want to see what I can do, but I can't shake the feeling that meeting up with her could go badly. <laughs> Connie, you just need to speak your heart. If she rejects that, you've done all you could. You're right, but I'm scared. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'd feel better if you were there with me, kitty son. Uh. I understand completely. I'll be there for moral support, then. That would mean the world to me. Thank you, kitty son So this is actually a side story. A sub-story, whatever you call it. So your old co-worker works around here? Mm. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, there she is. That's Masumi-chan. Hmm, looks like she's in an argument. Uh-oh. You roll up to our clubs with that stuck-up attitude, it's rude to us, and it trips up our customers, you know? Yeah, tripping like that in front of the whole club. Get it together, huh? I only tripped because your foot was sticking out. Hey, are you accusing Tomomi of tripping you on purpose? Huh? That's a pretty serious accusation. I would never trip a co-worker. <laughs> I think we've heard enough of your complaints. You're the noob here, so shut your mouth and get in line, okay? I'm not complaining, I just want to be able to do my job. Do your job? What do you think we're doing then? Slacking off? If I'm being honest, yeah. Excuse me? For a new eye, you've got an awful big mouth. I heard a rumor you got fired from your last club. Was it for acting like a snobby bitch? Uh, Masumi-chan. What, cat got your tongue? You're gonna cry now. I did get fired, but it was my fault. I was jealous of a girl who worked hard. I pulled her down for it. But when it was over, I realized how shameful I'd been to her. I regret all the things I did to her, even now. So I'm trying to walk in her shoes. No matter how tough you make my life, I'll do my best. Just like Kana. I can't believe it. I've had enough of this lecture. You need to be put in your place. Oh Sup, Tomomi. Oh, Masaru-kun. This chick is talking shit on us. Is she now? She's a real bitch. Mind giving her a piece of my mind for us? Sure. I can handle her. No, stop! What, are you gonna punch that woman? Are you serious? What is wrong with you? Lay a finger on her. Kana? Who the hell are you? I'm Kana. An old friend of Masumi-chan's. And I won't let you hurt her. Kana? What the hell? The bitches are multiplying. Think you're up for a double for double trouble, Masaru-kun. <laughs> oh yeah, she's a real cutie. I know exactly how to handle these two. Only a scumbag thinks he can solve a fight between women with his fists. Kitty, you son. Uh -huh. Who the hell are you? A manager? A bodyguard? It doesn't matter. But if you want to hurt them, you're gonna have to go through me first. <laughs> sure. Uh, two prizes waiting for me after I beat you down. Let's see what you got then, bitch. Come on. That can't be all you got, right? Yes, it is. Impossible. You lost, Masaru? No way. You ever think about harming another hostess? I'm gonna be there. You got that? Yeah, it's real clear. Yeah, better be. Hey, don't leave us with him. Kitty son, thank you. Yeah, that was about to get bad. Sorry, Kitty son. Kana. Masumi chan? You're not hurt, eh? Kana, I'm so sorry. I've done such terrible things, and I blamed it all on you. I was a despicable person. I couldn't ask you to forgive me, but I want you to know that I'm sorry. 
Masumi-chan, it's okay. Huh? Masumi-chan, I think you know how I felt now. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone. As far as we're concerned, apology accepted. Kana. You want a shake on it? That would lighten up the mood. A handshake? Yeah, to put everything in the past. We may have had our differences, but part of that was my fault too. I should have made more of an effort. So if we can both admit our faults, I think it's time to shake hands and be friends this time. You're really okay with that, Kana? Of course. You don't still hate me, do you, Masumi-chan? No. How could I? Kana, you're an incredible person. Thank you, Kana. So, can we really be friends? Of course. And you know, if you need a job, we can do with more girls. Well, I say we celebrate with a meal. It's on me today, Kana-chan. Wait, did you say a meal? Are you sure, Masumi-chan? Yeah, it's the least I can do. What would you like? Hmm, how about sushi? Sounds great. Yay, sushi. Sushi, sushi. Hey, you don't know what you've just signed up for. <laughs> Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Sushi with Kana is dangerous. I bought no less than 200 plates last time. 200? What? Otoro. Ikura. Otoro, Ikura. Uni. Otoro. 200? Oh no. Masumi-chan, are you coming? Sorry, let's uh, take a rain check. What? Masumi-chan? I thought we were friends now. Friendship sure has its challenges, huh? <laughs> My best friend. Our best friend is our fist. <laughs> That's why we don't know. Oh, we need to do some stats as well. We have some stat things to spend. For example, we should have been boosting the uh, hostess with the mostest one. For the Grand Prix. And the Club Hustler one. Because we're doing the Grand Prix. So that was a mistake. We're out of, uh... We're out of purple. We don't really do the Majima Construction one yet, but, uh... We'll get to that, I guess. Boost Sprint Max, I want that. We don't get Infinite Sprint? That Max one isn't even Infinite still? The other game just gives you Infinite Sprint. Ah, well. Alright, uh... Purchasable. So what do we got? Uh, let's have... Ooh, I want ultimate combo speed. That sounds good. Double quick step. Relentless blows. Boost weapon attack. Taunt. Stun resistance. Blind resistance. Burn. Extreme heat mode. Allows you to extreme, enter extreme heat mode when the heat gauge is fully extremed. Okay. Kawauchi release throw. Counter throw enemies at gravy. Let's get that one. That sounds pretty good. And then we need to increase our throw damage as well. That was an, an option. Yeah, extremely powerful throw. What else we got? And we're pretty much running out of uh, stuff. Weapon attack damage, I guess? We do use weapons a bit more often than we used to, if nothing else. We don't use them much, but we still use them more than we used to. And we should get stun resistance. That seems like a good choice, stun resistance. Taunt. I will never use taunt. What would be the point? Boost attack a little. Boost health a little, I guess. We won't boost the heat gauge, though, because we need the purple for other shit. Let's get find some side missions, maybe some story missions. Let's get some shit done out there. We've, been, we've spent so long in this club, I don't even know what's going on outside anymore. Alright, what's our map say? What does the map say? There's something over here. Oh, that's right, we need to get cookies from Camaracho. That's something we should probably focus doing. And then, yeah, we need to head to Camaracho now. Pretty much. I'm gonna get a taxi, get to Camaracho. Don't forget to buy some cookies while we're there, and then, uh... Eventually we'll come back here. Sorry. Excuse me. Douchebag. If you can catch me, I'll fight you. If you can catch me.
You didn't catch me. Alright, let's go. Back to Camaracho. We got four million? Nearly five million bucks? Jesus. We should hire some more girls. Jeez, the loading times are bad today. I swear it's not usually that slow. Maybe it's because I haven't played it in a while. I don't know. There's some missions here, but I don't feel like I can do any of them. What's happening in Theatre Square? I thought we had to go to Serena. Let's just head to Theatre Square and see what's happening. I know it's risky to start a main mission this late into the episode, but uh... I gotta know what happens. We gotta know what happens. And I don't know how to play Mahjong, so we're not doing that one. <laughs> I mean, I know how to play Mahjong, I just don't... I mean, I don't really know how to play Mahjong. But the minimal amount I do know how to play isn't enough to win. Put it that way. That's me problem. Is that the florist's daughter and Takashi? Hi. Ano. Sono setsu wa o sewa ni narimashita. Choudo 1 nen mae, oru wa sai no hana ya no musuko. Ka florist son Takashi. I thought his missus was the florist's daughter. Takashi wa Atobe gumi no kumichou no musume Kyoka to. That's right. The Patriarch. Nee, Takashi. What are you doing? The cave was just built, so I thought I'd come to help you. Who is that guy? 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 Yeah, we gotta hear him out. Let him say his side of the story. Jesus. So rough. <laughs> Just a punk. You punk. I was working my ass off. Gas stations, restaurants, construction jobs. I've given every job my best effort. Still, no matter where I went, I didn't seem to fit in. I never lasted long. Their money got tight and I... But then you tell me once you do whatever it takes to protect Kyoka? You're ready to chop off a finger to prove it too. Is that just a bunch of hot air? But Kyoka is... Mm. What about her? She's... She's meeting with another guy behind my back. Nani. What? You sure about that? I asked her once and she lied about being out with friends. But I know there's something going on. One of my co-workers at my last job saw it first hand. He told me he saw Kyoka go to a hotel with another guy. Kyoka's leaving me out to the to dry. And I'm the one struggling to work. You're pathetic. You can't even confirm it yourself? All you have to go on is what someone else told you? You're scared of the truth. Scared of the truth? Exactly. Kitty-san, have you ever heard the rumor about the legendary information dealer here in Kamurocho? They say he has eyes everywhere in the city. You mean your, your dad. Is that true? If anyone would know, it's you. You've got to tell me, Kitty son. They call him the florist. The florist of Sai. That's your dad, though, right? Please, will you take me to him? I have to know what Kyoka is really doing. If I take you, it'll be on his terms. I'll talk to the florist for you, but no promises. Thank you. Didn't they just say that he was the florist's son? How does he not know what his dad does for a living? I'm confused. I'm confused. Is he just actually that much in the dark? He just doesn't know. I hear something. Oh. <gasps> Coin locker. Yes, please, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. See you later. Get out of my way. Get out of my goddamn way, dipshit. Alright, we're heading to Millennium Tower. And we're also being chased, as per usual. It feels like what Chris Rock said in uh, Beverly Hills Ninja. I'm always running, man. 
Because every time I go out, there's always someone waiting to kick my ass. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Where I go, there's someone waiting to kick my ass. I don't understand why. What the hell did I ever do to everybody? Hey. Get here, son. A million thanks for the assist before. I was lost in a brown pit of despair, but you dragged me towards the light. My shining underwear angel. I heard you're fighting against some horrible land sharks. And if you want me, I'm here to help. I promise I won't shit on your plans. Thanks, Bubba. I don't even remember you. Who the hell are you? Get out of my way, sign. <laughs> Boom. Get wrecked. <laughs> I'll smash signs with my legs. Hey, dude. It's cracking. Oi. Florist, it's your son. Takashi wants to meet you. But the question is, are you willing to meet with him? You said it yourself. He's pathetic. No backbone in that kid. Not a trait he picked up from me, that's for sure. That's your answer then? Yeah. I don't even want to look at him. Huh. No backbone, huh? Maybe the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> hey! It's just not my thing. That was fucking rude. <laughs> I guess we're done here then. Wait. Takashi, the kid just wants to talk to the florist, right? Uh. Yeah, he does. Then that's what I'll meet him as. Bring him on up. Mm. Alright. Hey, was that a smirk? Nah. Somewhere deep down, you want to meet with this kid, I think. Oi. Mind your own damn business. Just bring the little shit in. <laughs> Are you going to make me run back again? I'm not happy about that. Not cool, bro. Don't make me walk back. Why are there signs in front of the freaking escalators everywhere in this place? It's like this whole place is down for renovations, and someone lives here anyway. God damn, so who put the signs back up? That's what I want to know. I literally knocked them over like a minute ago. Someone came around behind me and put them back up. Why? Out of my way, scooter bike. Look, I'm busy, alright? Leave me alone. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I always say, if you can catch me, I'll fight you. But I just maxed out my stamina, so I don't like your chances. Get the goddamn out of my way. Goddamn, why is there so many people in this freaking alleyway? It's an alleyway, for Christ's sake. Alleyways don't usually have a lot of traffic. <laughs> oh, hey, kitty son. How'd it go? Uh. He's got a minute he can spare you. Let's head up. Wow, really? Takashi, this is the florist. I... My name is Takashi. Mm -hmm. I don't need your life story, kid. You know how busy I am. And you already know why. You want the dirt on the girl you eloped with, right? I just need to know why Kyoka is doing... I didn't ask for your reasons. Can you not see that's his father? I'm really confused. You're in the market of info I happen to be selling. That's all this is. Got it? Yes. <clears throat> so one more time. You want info on this chick you ran off with? Yes. Once you know the truth, there's no going back. I'm sure you won't regret it? I'm sure. No matter what I find out, I'll deal with it. I can take it. Alright then. Hmm? I was a Well, I know where that place is. That's up near the batting place. I'm 
もうやめてくれこれ以上見たくないお前が依頼したことだ最後まで見るんだな She's borrowing money from her dad. Because he can't afford to keep, keep paying everything. Takashi Takashi no koto shinji teru. Ima wa nayan deru kedo, kitto itsuka watashi o sasai te kureru. Dakara watashi, kare o sasai te agetai. Gankomo no me, mataku daru ni nitan da gara. Takashi ga kichin to shushoku shita ra, nannen kakatte mo kanarazu kaishimasu. Ano otoko ni ya kitai shita ra, o mai wa mizime na seikatsu o okuru no ga taerare ni dake da. Kyoko, I'm, I'm such a... The waterworks won't solve your problems, kid. Both of you. Thank you. I know you guys probably think I'm full of it, but... I'm gonna keep working at this. I'll work as hard as I can. We heard that before, I promise. I'll make Kyoko happy. Uh. Actions speak louder than words. Go back to Kyoko, Takashi. Right. Atlanta's stable job, huh? No more running away when it gets tough. Right. <laughs> your father would be ashamed of you right now. What do you know about my dad? Mm -hmm. I'm an information dealer. What don't I know about your dad? Would you be able to find out about him? Then? Where is he now? Oh, he doesn't know who his dad is then. What's he doing? If he's even still alive? There's nothing I can't find out. Mr. Flores, can you track down my father? <clears throat> you got the cash? What? My fee. Can you pay it? How much would it be? Well, your sorry ass can afford, that's for sure. No use quoting it. When you can actually support yourself and that girl, you come see me again. Maybe then we'll talk like men. What do I owe you for this time then? This one's going on my tab with Kiryu. I still owe him a few. Thank you. Thank him, not me. Thank you, Kiryu son. Really. Thank you. You're an impressive father. Oi. Father, my ass. That was strictly professional. Since when do you work pro bono? <clears throat> Shut up. Like I said, we're square now. Hey, you said you owe me a few. That's one. <laughs> Still owe me more, bitch. Oh god. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'll wait for you at Serena, okay? Uh. Alright, I'll be right there. I feel like that is going to set off a huge chain of a... Uh... Time to tie up any loose ends. Uh, is that... does that mean it's going to be it? I don't know, I don't know man. I'm worried that uh, kicking that off will kick off the entire end. I guess it doesn't matter because you can always come back after the end anyway. Having said that, we only have six minutes left in the episode and that's not going to be enough. To do whatever next main mission thing happens. That's so plenty enough to kick the shit out of these guys. I have some new moves to try out. Away! <laughs> no oh, you hit me, bitch! <laughs> Come on, big boy, it's you and me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, I'll give you a chance. <laughs> Not much of a chance, but I'll give you a chance. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> that felt great. <laughs> Maybe we should stock up on health items too, I don't know. Where do I go to get cookies? Jesus! I never even thought about that. Let's head uh, into Popo. See if they got cookies in here. We gotta fill out the rest of this episode without, uh... Oh crap. Without starting the main mission. We need cookies! Crafted hard jelly. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, what is this? Conventional ingredients. What am I looking for again? Cookies, I've forgotten. I'd forgotten, okay? Where the hell do I buy cookies? You'd think that'd be a really easy thing to find. Cookies? I could... I could like, I live in a small town of like 6,000 people, but I could walk out my house, walk for half an hour, and find a place that I could get cookies from. <laughs> Less than half an hour. Sorry, dude. I'm gonna go find someone who has cookies. You don't seem to have cookies here. There's that one that we're making friends with up, up this way. Maybe it's cookies? Most of these shops don't have takeaway. You have to eat in house. So they seem like not the place to go to get cookies. I don't really know. Hang on. Yeah, no, keep going, keep going. My hot dog! <laughs> I want to go to a shop called My Hot Dog. Eat my hot dog. <laughs> Look at my hot dog. There's no cookies around this goddamn place. Yo! Bro! Do you have cookies? Oh shit. You have the same crap as the other place. Like literally the exact same crap. <gasps> Homemade cookies! Juice! You do have cookies. Did the last one have that or was that just you? You're welcome. I'll see you later. Alright, we got cookies. What were the other missions we got at the moment? Oh, Beam's Backroom Cache. We should do that as well. I might, uh, skip us over there. Where's Beam? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Fusion. Oh, Beam's that one. Alright, we're at Beam. We're at Beam. So we got the weapons place to get to. Now, what was it? Oh, it was, uh... That one? High School Heaven? You're gonna have to ask something before I give it to you though. How much was gas for last month? And that's 2600. Oh. More or less. Right this way, man. Alright. We're in. So that mission's done. And we can buy some weapons while we're here, I guess. I'm more worried about repairing them than buying them, to be honest. Damn. Look at that Chinese sword. I think it's crazy. Really want to finish that Mahjong mission, but it's too hard. Hangover tablets. Confused me. How do I how do I get to the to the weapons cache? This way. All right. I'll go talk to the man. Hey, Mr. Man. Thank God you got assault rifles. Why do you have assault rifles? It's a bit weird. This is a terrible weapon shop, dude. That's all you got? God, what did I waste my time for? Oh, well, at least the mission's done, I guess. What other missions do we have to wrap up? Be a regular at Kyushu. I don't know how to do those regular ones. That's not working for me. And then we got Mahjong, and then we got the cookies for Granny White. Um, I might cut here, and I'll bring you back in a moment. I know we're pretty much over the episode or whatever. But I just want to drop off these cookies at Granny White, so... It means... Traveling to Soten Bori, dropping off the cookies. I'll bring you back when we get to Granny White. Alright, we are here. We're here to drop off the cookies with Granny White. Get out of my way, everybody. Oh, Kazuchan, how's the hunt for the homemade cookies coming along? Well... Oh, you did good, Kazuchan. You did real good. Bet it took you all your cunning to get your mitts on these babies. Sorry to make you go through all that. Oh, don't worry about that. It was nothing. So humble, Kazuchan. Such a good boy. Oh yeah, almost forgot I promised you a reward. Here you go. 
This is a scroll. You gave me a move? Let's get some of the finest Lotus school techniques inside, so read them up. I have some spare reading glasses if you need them. I think I'll be alright. Thanks, Granny. Part one. There's gonna be more. Alright, let me just read that scroll before I do anything else. Scroll of the Golden Wall. Allows you to block blades and bullets. Are you serious? Holy crap, that is the most powerful move ever. But we gotta learn it still, don't we? We gotta buy it. Like with our brain thing. Boost your technique XP by 100. What? Oh, okay. Uh, we need to go buy it as well, don't we? I'm pretty sure you don't, you don't just get it. But we need that. That's going to be very important. Lotus Golden Wall. 406 of the hearty one. 162 of that. And we got everything else we need except the uh, yellow. Need yellow. Lots of yellow. Just hold down block and... You can block blades. Blocking blades and bullets to a lesser extent is going to be amazing. Like blocking blades and bullets are both really good. But especially blades, because a lot of enemies come at you with swords. Especially in this game, compared to the other Yakuza games, in my opinion. I assume we're going to have to do another Granny White motion, because, uh... That was only part one, so I assume that means there's more than one part. But, uh, we might have to wait until the next episode to find out what that's all about. Because we're out of time for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.